Today we are sitting down with Jeff Duplass, the youngest and third Duplass brother. You spent years studying the crafts of acting, writing, and directing with the best of the best. You have degrees from Juilliard, Tisch, USC, Yale, and the Korean Academy of Film Arts, just to name a few. Unlike your brothers, whose motto is fuck it, just go make a movie, you seem to believe that vigorous training and immense preparation is needed to execute the highest level of filmmaking. Someone who I draw great inspiration from is Abraham Lincoln. He once said, Give me six hours to cut down a tree, and I'll spend the first four hours sharpening my axe. Today, we're going to take a look at your first short film that you wrote, directed, and starred in, which is called You've Reached Todd. Hey, it's Todd. I'm not by my phone right now, but I'll call you back. Hey, it's Todd. Uh, sorry I missed your call. Just give me a call back, or you've reached my cell phone. Why don't you leave your name, your number, and a message, and I'll give you a call back when I'm back on my phone. Many have noticed similarities between You've Reached Todd and your brother's first short film, This Is John. In both, the lead character has a meltdown while attempting to record an outgoing voicemail. That's a pretty minor detail. You're both wearing sunglasses and drinking a glass of wine at one point. I mean, in Terminator he wears sunglasses. Do you want to compare You've Reached Todd to Terminator 2? Fair point. Yeah. There's a Tolstoy quote I love. There are only two stories. A man goes on a journey or a stranger comes to town. You're saying that everything has been done and this is your unique take. We're close to 100 years of cinema. Everything's been done. Next came your first feature film, The Squishy Seat, which sounds very similar to The Puffy Chair. Who's, who did The Puffy Chair? Your brothers, Mark and Jay. <gasps> oh. Both films are about transporting a chair across the country. There's quite a few films where people are traveling across the country. Road trip films. Yeah, road trip. That's actually, it's a pretty good film, Road Trip, one of my favorites. The Tom Green film, Road Trip. In addition to acting in projects that you've written and directed, you also sometimes hand over the directing reins to a friend. This was the case in the 2018 film, Perv. This was directed by Liam O'Connor, who was your dog walker's husband, is this correct? That's right. He, Liam, he had a really original idea and I wanted us to just kind of go with his vision. In this found footage horror thriller, you play a deranged man that traps a videographer in their apartment while wearing a husky dog mask. What was the thought process behind the husky mask? Liam, he just, his wife walks dogs and I just thought, you know, what would really, what would really scare the director and the audience? In a found footage film called Creep, starring your brother Mark, there is a similar wolf mask. Hmm. Any parallels there? Um, are you sure? Lately, you've also gone completely behind the scenes as a producer. Here we have some footage of you location scouting for the film Kumquat, which you produced last year. I was going through that area, as I often do, because I actually live in the Hollywood area. I just, I spotted Trejo's Donuts and I thought, wow, this really stands out. This would be a, this would be a good shot. You know, so I went back and I checked it out and Danny Trejo, a good friend of mine, he really gave some flair to that spot. It's an interesting choice because the same location was featured heavily in the Duplass Brothers produced film, Tangerine. Trejo Donuts was formerly Donut Time. They are the same location Danny Trejo just bought Donut Time and rebranded. No, I try to find really original locations. A lot of people have said that I take things to the next level, and they're right. I literally take things to the next level. And now for the question that's on all of our minds. What is next for Jeff Duplass? I have a lot of great productions going forward that I plan to put my Jeff Duplass stamp on. Much like Elizabeth Olsen, Jeff allowed his siblings to bask in the limelight while he trained, away from the paparazzi. Also like Elizabeth Olsen, now is his time to shine. Oh.